On the night of December 21, 2004 a record-setting winter storm was approaching from the southwest. The storm would come in two waves, one beginning in the early morning hours of the 22nd and continuing through midday, and the second, stronger wave, beginning late afternoon on the 22nd and not ending until the morning of the 23rd. As of 10 p.m. on the night of the 21st light rain was falling along and south of the Ohio River with temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s, the cold air was beginning to move in from an approaching Arctic high pressure coming out of Canada, so Indianapolis and Terre Haute were already below freezing, and that cold air would continue to push southeast as the night wore on. By 4 a.m. on the morning of the 22nd the cold air had engulfed almost the entire state except for the far southeast with temperatures now below freezing in Vincennes, Evansville, Bedford, Seymour and Greensburg. Because of this light rain had already begun to change to light snow over most areas. And more steady moderate snowfall was beginning to fall in the southwest part of the state. As sunrise was nearing on the morning of the 22nd moderate snow was falling over pretty much the entire southern half of the state. By this point it had been snowing for at least 4 to 5 hours in most areas and snowfall totals were already over an inch, in the east and were anywhere from 3 to as much as 5 inches down towards Evansville. By mid-morning, moderate snow was still falling over most of the same areas. But as it got towards early afternoon snow was mainly over the southeast. As of 4 p.m. on December 22, snow from Wave 1 was weakening but snow was still falling at a pretty good clip over the far southeast. Snow totals from Wave 1 of the storm ranged from just 1 to 3 inches just northwest of Indy, to 3 to 5 inches from Sullivan up towards Spencer and Martinsville. And the bullseye of Wave 1 was from Evansville up towards Seymour and Greensburg where as much as a foot had already fallen in some locations and the storm was still just getting started. Things would start to ramp up once again after sunset with snow building back in again from the southwest. By 10 p.m. snow had covered most of the state with the heaviest snow centered over the southern half. As the calendar flipped over to the 23rd of December the storm reached its peak and showed what it was fully capable of with moderate snow over almost the entire state and heavy snow over the southeast with snowfall rates ranging anywhere from 2 to 4 inches an hour in the heaviest bands. There were also numerous reports of thunder snow throughout the night in southeast Indiana as the storm pummeled the area. By morning on Thursday, December 23, 2004 snow was moving out after one of the worst winter storms had just clobbered the area with record-setting snowfall. People woke up to snowfall totals that didn't seem real for the area, with widespread totals of a foot or more from Evansville up towards Richmond. A large area of over 18 inches of snow and areas with over 2 feet of snow on the ground. Snowfall totals were reported of over 30 inches in Washington and Jefferson counties. Also 29 inches were reported in Scott County as well as in Seymour. Greensburg and North Vernon also received over 2 feet from the storm. While Medora and Alpine also received a healthy 20 inch plus snowfall. And even areas not in the heaviest of snow such as Vincennes and Spencer managed to pick up a whopping 13 inches. On the morning of the 24th temperatures dipped below freezing over most of the area due to the deep snowpack that had fallen in the last 48 hours. Here are some pictures from Milltown in New Albany from the historic pre-Christmas snowstorm of 2004. I-65 down towards Louisville was closed for 10 hours. Also I-74 in southeast Indiana near Cincinnati was closed for around 20 hours due to the outrageous snow amounts in the area in which plow crews could not keep up with. Throughout the entire Ohio Valley property damage and losses totaled $255 million. Some counties in the state paid up to $35,000 for snow removal and towards property losses and possibly the most impactful was the loss of Christmas sales for local businesses, with people snowed in and unable to do their last-minute Christmas shopping some local businesses lost up to 80% of expected sales. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any other past weather events in Indiana, preferably 2000 or later, that you would like me to make a video on.